Well, the Los Angeles area seeing a big increase in earthquakes this year. Five quakes in the last five months, all registering of a, above 4.0. That's the highest number since 1994, which happens to be the year of the devastating Northridge earthquake. Does this suggest that another big one is coming? Joining us now, USGS seismologist Lucy Jones. Lucy, why so many quakes in Los Angeles this year? Do we know? Uh, we can't be certain. But we can say that uh, when you have a lot of earthquakes, you tend to have a lot of earthquakes. And the rate is higher now, so we have some uh, increased chance of an earthquake. Does but it, it's... Uh, yeah, does it suggest it, that there is certain. another big one coming? Not necessarily. We might just be having a random cluster. What we can say is that in the long term, uh, the rate in the last 20 years has been much quieter than the long-term average for Southern California, and we've got to expect more earthquakes than we've seen recently. Um, an earthquake is, is the earth relieving pressure on one particular fault line, whether a major fault or a minor fault, right? So, so if, if, if something shifts a little bit, then something somewhere else generally has to give or wants to give. Is that how it works? Yeah, right. Each earthquake releases stress right there, but it transfers it to other locations. I mean, if you have a big enough earthquake, you remove enough energy from the system, everything relaxes for a while. And we think that's what happened back in 92, 94. We had big enough earthquakes that things went quieter for a while. And maybe now we're getting back to the, the more normal long-term rate. But people have gotten used to L.A. being quiet. And that's a bit dangerous because it's not our long-term future. Yeah, I mean, on average, is there is there any way to know how how long uh, between something like the North Northridge quake? Well, on average, we see an earthquake as damaging as Northridge, say once every um, tw 20, 30 years is the sort of long-term average. We had Long Beach, San Fernando, and Northridge as the big ones in Southern California in the 20th century. So um, on average, we would expect to have an earthquake you know, 20, 30 years, but that really can't tell you what the next year's gonna be like. There's just too big a random component to what happens in earthquakes. Lucy Jones from the U.S. Geological Survey, thank you.